Hey everyone and welcome to a how-to video on a bit of folder structure and hierarchy within our tenants. Let's create a little bit of organization. So right now I'm in my tenant on the left hand side you'll see all the teams that I have. I currently just have your first team and in there I have stories, credentials, resources, and trash. When I go to create a new team I'm on community edition so I only actually have one team. That doesn't mean that we necessarily don't have any flexibility to do any structuring. Uh, we definitely can. So in my stories, what I can do is hit this little arrow to the left-hand side and create a new folder. So let me go ahead and create a new folder. I'm going to call this testing, and I'm going to set the color to the folder to orange, and I'm going to use this little kind of like control widget thingy and hit done. So that's going to be anytime I'm testing stories, and then I'll do another folder for in production. And here, let me set the color to, you know what, let me set the color to green because I feel like kind of like green means go. I feel like that kind of makes sense. And then I'll select this little kind of like airplane, paper airplane, kind of like shipped, and then we'll do done. So now I have two different places that I'm going to put my stories. When I click on stories, we'll now see the folders are there with the colors. Uh, let's go ahead and... For this example, I'm just going to do new story just to kind of show you what it looks like to move a story around. Um, I'm just creating this almost as a container. I'm going to go back to your first team. And all I want to just show real quick is that there are two, the two folders and then my story is not in there. So if you click the three dots, you can always move a story and then select what folder you want it to go into. Now I set that up for stories. We can do the same thing for credentials and resources. So for resources, I'm going to hit that little arrow, do new folder. And uh, I'm going to do URLs just because there's a lot of URLs that I'm going to want to store and then be able to reference as I'm building my stories. And then I'm also going to do another one. And, you know, I'm going to call it global variables because I've done a little bit of development in the past. And I feel like sometimes resources act like global variables to me. So let me just select some stuff. And, uh, yeah, we'll see that the colors of the folders and everything. So this is kind of a nice way to do a little bit of organization. So I hope that you found this helpful and I'll see you next time.